Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a direct side-by-side -side comparison of five different gel liners. So first off, we have some buffing files, the big thick ones so that you can get next to your cuticle without hurting yourself. Next up, we have the gel-like a prey dupe system. We have Kiara Skies gel liners. Can't wait to try these out. They were so expensive. $140. Nicole Diary. This was the least expensive at $21.99. We have Kusa 24 colors for $41.99. And last but not least, R-A-R-J-S-M. Not sure how you say that, so I'm just gonna say the letters. Okay, so let's start off with our gel-like system. We have the six-in-one nail glue, and I did an allergy test with this, and I did react in two hours, so if you have allergies, don't use that one. Um, comes with a little mini LED lamp cute. I've always wondered how well those work. And last but not least, we have some almond tips. These are pre-etched to make it easier so that you don't have to file or buff the inside or the outside. You just stick them and go. Okay, so here's our little lamp. I'm going to get this plugged in and unpacked. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Let's plug this little guy in and try it out. If I can get it plugged in here. There we go. Okay. Power button is inside and we have three little bright LEDs in here. also comes with this little instruction sheet and a measurement chart on the back so that you can record which tips fit your fingers the best, which is pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so I also bought the Model 1s in this kit for $38.99, but they, the package burst inside the box and they leaked everywhere. So I didn't show those in the unboxing because I literally had to clean up everything and put it in a different box. We are going to test each color on both white and black to check the opacity. So I'm gonna start off with the black on the white and we're gonna do the thinnest line possible with the smallest amount of product I can get on the brush so that I can see just how opaque these colors actually are. And as you can see, the Model 1s, it somewhat covers fully, but it, you can still see a little of the white underneath. And here's the white. This is our purple. The consistency was a little thick on these. Um, it was hard to get a good clean line at the very end where the product was just barely touching the nail. Um, I had to use a little more pressure than I wanted, which means that I couldn't get as thin of a line as I expected.
several of the model ones, I had to lift my brush and go back onto that line to come back over it again. And that's one of the things that I was trying to avoid and one of the reasons for doing this test. I want to find something that I can use in a single stroke that's going to give me the coverage I want to do good quality artwork. So here's our green. And this was one of the colors that didn't really cover very well. You could clearly see white through it in places. Um, same with the black, it did not cover well. This silver is obviously fine glitter in a clear suspension, so when you apply it, once you get to the edge, to the thinner lines, you can see the gaps between the glitters that didn't have very good coverage. The gold was better, it had much thinner pigments so that it had a smoother consistency and went on rather well. Um, it did cover well. Last but not least, we have the Glitter Red, which is the same situation as the Silver. It is glitters in a jelly base, and it did not cover well at all. You could clearly see through it, and there is not a good concentration of glitters. Next up is Nicole Diary. This was the most reasonably priced at $21.99. It's 12 colors, and I'm excited to try this one. I have seen several people on YouTube using Nicole Diary's products, and I haven't tried it myself, so this is a first for me. 
as you can see, unlike the model ones, it was very well packaged, wrapped in plastic, um, no uh, spills on this one, no loose product running around in the box. Everything is secure in its own little spot. First up, we have the white. The consistency on this is a little bit thinner. It's smoother, easier to work with. You see it's not dragging a line when you pull it away from the bottle. And the consistency is really good. It's very opaque. I didn't have any issues with the color coming through. I did have a little bit of trouble at the very edge there where the line gets very thin. Um, I don't know if I just didn't have enough product or I wasn't using quite enough pressure, but it did um, have to be retouched. Um, black, however, nice, smooth line, very opaque. I did notice that several of the brushes in the Nicole Diary set had like one or two longer hairs. Um, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but it kind of helped with doing a very thin line. Um, of course, you don't want the brush to separate on the end when you're getting low on product, but it wasn't an issue really. Several of these are fluorescent colors, but I got this pack because it had the closest match to the colors in the other sets so that I could do a direct comparison. Um, a lot of these colors are more vivid, and if you noticed in the past, a lot of neon colors, you definitely have to apply two coats, especially over black, because you can just see right through them, but not with this. It's very opaque, and I was very impressed with Nicole Diary. It definitely surprised me. Out of the entire set of 12, the orange and this hot pink were the only two colors that didn't give full coverage in a single coat. They were a little bit sheer, but everything else in this covered completely in one coat. <coughs> As you can see, this red is very vibrant, it's a beautiful color. And I really liked the silver and gold in this set as well. The silver especially, it was totally different than the others. It has a very smooth pigment, so it goes on a lot like the gold. It's almost like um, a chrome metallic instead of a glitter. And I really like the coverage on this one. The gold is also very uh, thin and smooth.
smooth. And once again, great coverage. It went on very smooth and very nicely. Okay, next up we have Kusa 24 colors for $41.99. And this actually averages out to be very similar in price to the Nicole Diary. However, it is not very similar in quality. The packaging is great. It is securely packaged with plastic. And each bottle has its own little nestled spot in the, the foam here. This was pretty cool. They gave me some uh, swatch sticks. Never had anyone hand out swatch sticks in their kits before. That's pretty cool. Okay, so after hunting down all of the colors that are the ones to match what I've tested so far, we are starting off with the black. It has a thin consistency and smooth. The opacity was pretty good on this black. I, I didn't really have any complaints on it. Here's our white. And once again, the opacity was pretty good. I did not see any gaps or any gray bleeding through on that whenever I put it against the black. Here's our purple which is kind of more of um, a fuchsia than a purple, but it's the closest one in the kit. Very smooth application. I really liked the way that went on. This kit comes with three different blues. This is the medium blue, which was the closest to the ones that I had used previously. And as you can see, it was a little bit sheer toward the end there. You can't really see it as well in the black unless it's really thick. Here's our green. And this was a very sheer color. It did not cover well at all. As you can see, um, toward the end where I was trying to get really thin with the line, it started to break up and it did not let me continue on out with that motion. It didn't fully go all the way to the edge there. Um, I did have to use more pressure than I was wanting to. So as far as getting a thin line with this, some of them cooperate and some of them don't. There was not a true red in this kit, which was kind of confusing. With 24 colors, you'd think they'd have a red in there. The closest thing was this really hot pink. Um, I believe it was fluorescent pink, I don't know the name. But it did give a smooth line um, and fairly decent coverage. I was kind of surprised with that one because the other pink was not as opaque. Here's the silver, and once again, we have a thin, fine pigment with this one. So you're able to get a good, smooth line that is consistently silver all the way to the end. Didn't I wasn't able to get very thin with it, but I did get a good coverage. Mm -hmm. 
Same situation with the gold, fine pigments. You can get a good smooth line with this product. Um, it was comparable in its opacity to the Nicole Diary, so that's good. Um, several of the colors, as you can see, were not as opaque as others. Next up, we have RAR JSN, the thermal color changing ones. Now, the colors in this are similar to the colors in the other kits, but because they are color shift, they look a little different when they're cold. Um, they have kind of a gray or earthy feel to them when they're cold, and then they get vivid when you warm them up. As you can see, one of the colors leaked. I don't know why this purple leaked everywhere. When I took it out, it the lid was on well. It wasn't loose. Um, I just assume it's some kind of defect in the packaging. All right, so here is our first color, which is the pink, and this is purple. I didn't show all of them because they are cold, so they do not show the colors correctly. But here they are warm. As you can see, they are very vivid when they're warm. Next up, we have PR Sky. This was our most expensive purchase at $140 for 12 colors, and I hope they were worth the money. Once again, the packaging was decent. Everything was secure in its little spot. It did not have a plastic cover over the box, but that's okay because it didn't leak. All right, so here is the black. Nice, long, tapered brush. A little too much on my brush here. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I really like this. It goes on very smooth, very opaque. Wow, that did a good line. Okay, here is our white. I'm gonna try this on the black nail. I love the consistency. This is very smooth and creamy. Total coverage. Wow. Yes, I know my nail is wrinkled. I flash cured it and let it sit too long before I did the full cure. So yeah, that black one is a little bit jacked, but it's okay. All right, so here is our purple. Wow, once again, total opacity. Look at the thinness on the line at that end. You can really get a good clean line with this and very tiny lines at that. That's one of the the biggest factors in my decision for any of these as far as my ranking is whether or not I can get a very thin detail line at the end right there without losing the opacity. Then the green and the yellow in this kit were very opaque. I was concerned, especially going over the black, on whether or not I was going to be able to see through it, but I was surprised. It really did cover very well. Um, no complaints.
as you can see, um, the hot pink did not cover that well against the black. Had the same issue with the red. You could still see the black through it. Okay, here's the silver, and once again, it is basically fine glitter in a suspension, so you can see gaps when you get to the edge of your line where you're trying to do a very thin line. There are gaps between the glitters, um, so I was not happy with the coverage on this. Same situation with the gold, glitter in a clear suspension. So when you get to the outer edge, when you're trying to do a super thin line, gaps in the glitters. Um, I really just don't like the way that looks because you have to use too much product. You can't get a nice smooth nail if you have lumps and bumps. So here are all the nails side by side. As you can see, some of the pinks and reds did not show up on black, and there were gaps in the glitters on uh, two or three of the golds and silvers. So yeah, here they are. And of course, we have to check the color change on the RAR JSM. Very pretty, very vibrant when they're hot, and then they turn earthy and kind of gray when they are cold. Okay, time for the comparison. We're going to compare these all to the Model 1s, which was the first one that we tried. And first up, we are going to test Kiar Sky, the most expensive. As you can see, the coverage is much better on the Kiar Sky. Um, the, gold, the gold and the silver are very similar, um, not really much difference there. Next, we have Pusa which, you know, Kusa and the Model 1s is very similar. Um, the consistency and coverage are basically the same. Here's the Nicole Diary. Much better consistency. like the colors better. Um, these went on a lot more opaque than the Model 1s. And here is the RAR JSM, which, of course, the colors are different because of the shift. And here is the black, same situation. There is the Model 1's on the left, Kusa on the right, and obviously not good coverage. The Nicole Diary, much better coverage. Um, the orange and the pink on the Nicole Diary were not quite as opaque as the rest, but the others did very well. Um, here is the Kiara Sky, all full coverage with the exception of the pink and the red. And Nicole, or Model 1s did beat them a little bit on that. And here is the RAR JSM, which it actually has excellent coverage. So here are the final results. In first place, we have Nicole Diary with smooth, easy application, very pigmented. The silver and gold had very fine, smooth pigments. The brush allowed for thin lines. 
and it had the best price and well packaged. The only drawback was the orange and hot pink were not opaque enough in one coat on black. Second, we have Kiara Sky, smooth, easy application, very pigmented. Most of the colors were opaque in one coat. The only ones I had issue with were the hot pink and red on black. The silver and gold were obviously glitters in suspension and faded out at the end and expensive. Number three, we have the RAR JSM Thermal Color Shift. Smooth application, good pigmentation, good price and well packaged. It was difficult to get a smooth thin line and the yellow was not as opaque when warm. In fourth place, we have Kusa. We had smooth application, 24 colors compared to 12. It was securely packaged and included the swatch sticks. Drawbacks were several colors were not opaque in one coat. The brush was shorter and made it harder to get a thin, smooth line. And there was no true red in the pack, despite having more colors. In last place, sorry, model ones. Some of the colors were opaque in one coat, but most were not. Um, thicker product, it was harder to get a smooth line. Several of the colors were not opaque, and the product was not securely packaged. It literally was out everywhere in the bottom of the box. I hope you found this video helpful. I know I have been looking for one like it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Hit that like button for me. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.